The other day I was thinking about buying a puzzle, but I was having a hard time finding one that I liked, which made me wonder if it's possible to make your own puzzles. Not that I would necessarily want to put together a puzzle that I had made, but I just wondered if making my own puzzle would be easy. I found these instructions on wikiHow and my whole point of making this video is not for this to be a how-to video. It's just that a lot of times when I see DIY videos, I can tell that the person who made the video has made that project 37 times already and I feel like it would be so helpful to see someone make something for the first time so that I can have a more realistic idea of what mine might look like since I don't have any practice. So I don't have lacquer, but someone on the wikiHow page mentioned in the Q&A that you could use Mod Podge, which I also don't have, but I found these wikiHow instructions for making your own Mod Podge. I accidentally DIY Mod Podged a piece of cardboard or something to the front of my puzzle, which is not okay. So I want my puzzle pieces to be kind of small actually, as small as I can reasonably cut them. The picture is basically 10 and a half inches wide and eight inches tall. I was going to make one inch squares, but then I realized I'd have that extra half of an inch that I have to cut off. So I made half inch squares and I hope they won't be too tedious to cut, but we'll see. My grid has 21 squares going across and 16 squares going up and down. So I printed out a 21 by 16 puzzle template from Google and glued it to the back. A few minutes before I was about to cut this, I realized that 16 times 21 is 336. So I trimmed about a quarter of an inch from two of the sides so that it measured 10 inches across instead of 10 and a half, decided to make one inch pieces instead of half inch ones and printed out another grid with eight squares going up and down and 10 squares going across because eight times 10 equals 80 instead of 336. I wouldn't mind to try to put together a puzzle with 336 pieces, but at the moment, I didn't particularly want to cut out a puzzle with 336 pieces. I gave up. I just couldn't figure out a way to cut the pieces out. I'm sure it would be easier if the pieces were bigger, but a puzzle with 20 pieces is not much of a puzzle. If I could figure out how to cut it out, I think it would be a pretty cool, um, inexpensive, not too difficult present idea, especially if you print out something that means a lot to that person. I don't know if my X-Acto knife was too dull. It was really hard to get around these little corners and curves with scissors. So I just hope that this gave you a more realistic idea of what it might be like to try to make your own puzzle. And if you've successfully done it before and have any tips, please leave them in the comments. I hope your day has been and will continue to be as wonderful as you are. Stay amazing. Bye.